What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be continuing on by checking out Rux once again if you guys didn't see the previous episode that should have gone out earlier today make sure you go ahead and do that because of course we talked to Rux and bought the newest ability available from him which is the future dummy for the all star it is super duper awesome but now today we have earned up 30,000 more coins to buy the legendary perfume shroom now than the last time there were legendary plant pots slash zombie bots available I had the legendary monk choice so if you want to see a video on that check the description in the comment section in the card in the top right I'll be linking it everywhere so that if you haven't seen it you can go ahead and see it but now we have brand new legendary plant pot perfume shroom playing some will grow these helpful AI companions from empty pots or soil mounds to help you in the fight so we're gonna go ahead and spawn that in or wherever we can and sort of test it out a little bit wherever I can and hopefully it'll work out. I'm gonna try testing it a little different this time to see if it works, but yeah, we now have another legendary plant pot. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this is that we are on normal difficulty gnome bomb in solo play, so there's nobody spawning in but me. We're gonna go ahead and find some plant pots to spawn some stuff in at because we should be able to find some. Like right here is where we can find one and we're gonna go ahead and spawn in a normal doom shroom right here. There's gonna be our normal doom shroom spot and you can see this guy, you can see this is what the normal Doom Shroom looks like. He is a PvZ1 classic Shroom. You know, he's been around for a while. He, of course, explodes when zombies are nearby and does a ton of damage. And then there is the Perfume Shroom, which should be over here. And the Perfume Shroom is a close range explosive. This lovely smelling Shroom is dialed up and ready to go. So you can see it's a pretty cool cla class, you know, like, or like variant in how it details it up. It definitely looks a lot different. You can see some like, shiny shimmers going on. You can even hear like, almost like glimmering music. It's sort of being shadowed by the uh, sound effects of the dumpster, a weird location, I'm sure. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change to the zombie side. Once again, this is on normal difficulty, so I'm going to assume it's going to do equal damage as to what online would do. Um, last time we tried this, we tried it in the backyard, and I forgot to like realize that the damage is modified by how much health you have, first of all, and then also by, um, you know, what your difficulty of your backyard is set at when we showed off the monk choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some damage, we're at 125 health, and that go goes ahead and blows up, brings us down to 45. So that did, what, 60, 70, 80 damage to us there, and he's still alive. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do some damage to him. You see, it took almost a full uh, ammo, 25 ammo there to actually take him out. We were left with like five or six left, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and let my health restore because some people were saying even if you're at lower health, things affect your damage counter differently as well. So we're gonna make sure that we're at full health to truly test to see if the damage is any more. So if the perfume shroom brings us down to less than 45 health, we obviously know that there's more than just her or his looks, I'm not really sure what gender the Doom Shroom is. It's more than just their looks that affects their, um, you know, their damage when it comes to being a legendary. So we're gonna go out right here and boom, nope, it brings me right back to the 45 and you know, it's back and ready to go. So let's go ahead and start destroying you as fast as I can. Oh, um, well I missed a little bit there and we were closer, but it seems like it's about the same amount of damage. So it looks like for the Perfume Shroom, it's exactly the same as the Doom Shroom from what I've seen. No, there's other things we could test, like the difference in time. Let's see if it'll let me change teams again. What is like the difference in time between the Doom Shroom and like the Perfume Shroom when it comes to popping back up? Maybe that's different. I don't really have extensive ways on how to test that, but definitely you can see the perks of the, the, the you can see it. Well, okay, let me word that differently. You can see that it doesn't seem like the Perfume Shroom seems at least face value any better or worse than the Doom Shroom. Now when I tested out the Mong Choi, it seemed, no wait, it seemed like it did more damage, and this is gonna be the last one I use, because I don't wanna waste these guys, because I only have 10 of them. Um, but it's really hard to tell. I mean, maybe you know some more stats that I don't, and I'd love to hear you implore me about them in the comment section, and feel free to let me know about all these different stats and you know, like what you might think about it. But let's just go ahead and double check to see if it's gonna bring me down. Maybe if I'm standing closer, it'll do more or less damage. Oh, looks like it's 80 damage across the board, so definitely confirmed. The Doom Shroom seems to take equal damage and gives out equal damage as the Perfume Shroom. Waiting here, it seems like it does take a good while for him or her to pop back up. But yeah, it's an interesting one. I will say it's probably my least favorite out of all four of the legendary plant pot slash zombie bots out of the Monk Choi, Perfume Shroom, DJ Uplink bot, and Golden Gatling bot. This one is probably my least favorite aesthetically. Now it's not a bad pot, pot and of course if you like it, awesome. And then, 
Yeah, that does. I, I was like a little bit less health there, so. But it seems like it did the same amount of damage, just about. Um, but yeah, yeah, I hope you get the idea. I, I, it is my least favorite, but it's not because it's bad, it's just because the other ones are really stinking awesome. Let me know your thoughts about the perfume shroom in the comment section below, and also let me know what plant pot or zombie bot legendary you got in Rux's shop this week as well, because I'd love to hear, but for right now, I think that's where we're gonna be finishing it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment perfume zebra, so I know you've watched it in the video, and you are a zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.